Hello, my name is Joey Morgan. I directed and played the Seventh Doctor in Deceit. Hello, my name is Jacob Licklider, and I adapted Deceit. Adapting Deceit is kind of an interesting story. It's the first VNA that sort of sets the path for all future VNAs from this point. It reintroduces Ace to the line and was essentially Peter Darvel Evans' attempt to prove that he could be the editor by writing a story. Now, that makes it quite interesting because as a book, it feels like there are places where an editor's hand would have actually been needed more so than any other book. Uh, and I don't know if that means it's because someone else edited it, edited it, most likely Rebecca Levine, but I kind of doubt that. Uh, it's presented as six parts, and honestly, the first third of that is drags quite a lot. There's a lot of reintroduction of Ace, but especially in the early parts of the novel, you don't actually get the most interesting bits with Ace. That's not until later. So we essentially trimmed a lot of that, put a couple things together, and while we we made some of the more problematic tropes of the novel more subtle, or at least, and tried to remove them when we could, uh, without having to completely restructure the story um, and make it feel unsatisfying, which is, of course, something that's going to happen when you're adapting something from the 90s. Um, in Casting Deceit, I found it quite fascinating because we were, we knew the big one to cast would be Absalom Dak, and we had had some ideas about who we wanted to cast, uh, and then we actually got uh, the audition from Alex Baxter Scott, who had been, uh, before that point, a, a small role in Transit, and then the main villain of Evolution, uh, both out now on Security Kitchen Productions. And he just gave this 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 raw 80s action hero vibe that kind of, it kind of helped elevate the camp of the story. Um, so he, as well as the rest of the cast, were great. We got to work with some on, some amazing people, people who worked with before, and so many new people. I love having new faces around. It becomes such a great, um, such a great experience just to have new people, people who've followed us or have not followed us, um, and we're hoping to work with most of them in the future. As with far too many VNAs, uh, I once again get to play a confused, memory-lost doctor, which is always fun, but man, there's a lot of it. <laughs> I did sort of uh, uh, slightly tweak it and refine my seventh doctor voice for this one, and uh, I think I think it came out uh, uh, decent in this one. Really enjoyed it here. Um, also just really cool with this project, project in particular is uh, getting to play off of Ace and Benny together in the same story for the first time. So that was a ton of fun. Um, obviously I've done stories with, with both companions before, uh, but this was particularly fun because I got to play with both of them. Just not many scenes with all three of us together, unfortunately. But there will be more in the future. Hello, I'm Alex Baxter-Scott and I am playing Absalom Dag Dalek Killer in uh, Deceit. Isn't that exciting? When I got the email that I got the Absalom Dak role, I was both very excited and extremely upset at Jacob and Joey, because when I did the audition process, I knew that there were two characters that, or potentially three characters, that everyone was going to audition for, and I think most, if not all, the men were auditioning for Absalom Dak, and I think most people had an impression in their minds about what he'd sound like. A lot of people I heard were sort of going off of the um, rather questionable single that was released of him um, in the, I think the, yeah, it would have been the 90s. Or was it, was it the 90s? Could have been the 80s. Someone will correct me if I'm wrong. So, um, yeah, I'm glad that I was going to um, sort of be cast to rise above a posh man shouting over Peaches by the Stranglers. So, always a plus. And the voice that I was using for Absalom Dak, I think I was sort of aiming for a sort of Judge Dredd style American like action hero, but sort of came off sounding like Wrecker from Star Wars The Bad Batch, which was obviously starting at the time, so it certainly helped inform the role. And um, I actually knew that I actually knew quite a bit about Absalom Dak even before I knew that he was in the novel Deceit, um, because being a Doctor Who fan who's sort of searched a lot of the different formats that's been on comic books, audios and whatnot, you do see these characters that sort of get everywhere, and Absalom Dak does seem to get everywhere. You know, he started out in the comic books, where he definitely seemed to sort of be a product of 
the sort of cynical era of the 80s and 90s where your action heroes were very depressed. They always drank and smoked copious amounts and they were angsty because they lost a loved one. Fortunately, not much of that comes to play in um, Deceit. Absalom Dak in this particular story is very much what you see is what you get and what you get is brutish, um, sexist, um, sex-hungry, aggressive, thick Absalom Dak, the, Dal the Dalek killer. Um, and I had probably the most fun I've had currently doing Doctor Who voice work, not just for um, security productions, but in general doing Absalom Dak, because I've done humans and I've done alien creatures and Cybermen and all manner of space thuggery. Um, and sometimes it's just nice to have a break from that and just go all out with an extremely overly masculine, loud, obnoxious brute of a man. And yeah, definitely the most fun I've ever had. And I've had some incredible lines. Um, the amount of times I've had to yell damnation at the top of my lungs is terrific. I'm, I'm pretty sure our neighbours might hate us now for the amount of vicious, absolute screaming that I've done over the past few weeks, but um, I've loved it, and um, you know, maybe Absalom Dak could appear somewhere down the line, it was only a clone after all, spoilers, so, and um, I will be there. And um, I thank everyone for um, giving me the opportunity to play such a, um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say well-loved, I assume, character. And on a lovely note to end on, I said to them when I sent in the audition that I shouldn't have done the Dak lines first because they really hurt. My voice is fine now, and Jacob and Joey gave me many tellings off in the past because of this, but... There was a few times where I had to um, I had to get the hot tea on. So if you have the image of Absalom Dak sitting on a leather sofa with a cup of tea in one hand and a pack of lozenges in the other, then uh, that might be <laughs> that might be in the right territory to uh, what I was going through. Directing and editing this one was a lot of fun too. Um, this was one of our first projects with uh, a fully original score, so we got got to play around with that. Uh, Antonio's score in this one in particular uh, was really, really good. I really enjoyed Antonio's work on this one. Easily his best score to date. Uh, just very good stuff. Also, the first time that I had uh, Brian helping me out on editing, Brian did the dialogue stitching for this one, and, and I did the sound design, so um, splitting the workload between the two of us was very nice and um, just made for a, a generally more enjoyable editing process than usual because if you're if you're doing both halves of editing if you're putting together all the dialogue because obviously we don't record in the same space together so if you're putting together all the dialogue and your sound design you're going through all the same scenes like twice over sometimes three times if, there, if there's like another layer of editing that you need to do so being able to avoid that this time was was really nice and uh, made for a much smoother editing process i think Hi, I'm Jess Hartman and I play Isabel de Freeze. This is my first rodeo out with the guys at Security Kitchen Productions, and this is my first novel adaptation. I'm pretty new to the novels, so my experience is pretty limited, but Deceit... Oh, I haven't read Deceit yet, but Deceit was pretty good, I enjoyed it. Would love to get the novel if I can get the chance. But, you know, these guys have written this fabulous script, you know, it was a fun to play. Isabel is a really good and fun character. You know, I enjoyed playing a, uh, a secret agent. Well, not a secret agent, but, a, you know, an agent. An agent-like character. You know, no nonsense. Though I think she came off a bit drill instructor by the end of it. <laughs> uh, you know, I wouldn't blame her considering she's trying to deal with an unwanted ace up her sleeve and a mad Dalek killer. But no, I enjoyed the story. The cast's amazing, and I hope everyone enjoys the end product. And that was Deceit. Uh, <laughs> just actually, I think, a really enjoyable experience overall. Um, first time that we ever had an original cover for the adaptations. Uh, Smappy did a brilliant job with the cover on this one. Just really great stuff in general. Um, really enjoyed making this project, as I always do. Um, usually do, I should say. <laughs> uh, but yeah, a really enjoyable process. I hope you all enjoyed it too, because, man took a while to make um <laughs> but uh but yeah thank you all so much for listening uh, it really does mean a lot i guess uh on to the next one as always
Now time for some warm-ups. Mama! Just killed a Dalek. Put a sword against its eye. Chopped it off and now it's blind. Mama! My girlfriend's dead! Now I've got loads of emotional angst. Say it, no. You up and died and then... I carried your body around in a coffin because I'm so extra, I'm so extra, and nothing really matters to me. Tin plate of vermin. I'll slice them open. I'll stew them in the tins. Oh, fuck me. I was going so well and I fucked it up. Duck, you moron. Hey. To the smug prick that's editing. I hope you know the voice actor's just killing himself doing these lines for you. Uh, you're a hell of a girl. Remind me of someone. Will you be quiet? We're recording here. Damnation! Are we just gonna stand here? Oh, fi- <laughs> Wanker! Dog test! Dog test! He's testing his testicles! Oh, the massive! Guess which bastard just finished recording all his lines for Security Kitchen Productions. <laughs> I can't even do a plug right. I am Absalom Dak, Dalek Killer. Fuck you.